Off-white sun, seeker, hat the marina Fuck a phantom, I like to buy yachts when I get the fever Wine cooler, spill on my white t-shirt, the sightseer Trifecta, money, morals, and culture That's my leisure, my f Now this is where Cade takes this beef to a place where Drake can't go From the top, he's playing off the euphoria concept And painting a picture of a very relaxed and happy high-class better living lifestyle For those that are unaware a Sunseeker is a top-of-the-line super yacht for the rich and famous. KDOT said he'd rather worry about getting a new yacht than worry about getting a Phantom. Most look over this bar because they think this is just Kade, saying that he can buy super yachts while Drake has to settle for Phantoms or other top-of-line cars. If you think deeper about what he's saying in this section, a Phantom is also another name for a ghost, referencing how Drake has to worry about ghost riders to take care of the beef for him. If we take some time to think about this, Drake is stuck between a rock and a hard place. There's a plethora of actual proof that Drake had ghost riders for years, but for those that don't know, one of Drake's biggest ghost riders is one of the best battle rappers of the era, Daylight. Daylight just so happens to be someone who is under the same label and umbrella that K. started his career. In other words, K. Dot is closer to one of Drake's phantoms, or ghost riders, than Drake is. For further proof, Anyone can and should go look up Daylight and his diss track towards Drake called Light Skin. Just for the record, Daylight destroyed Drake and exposed Drake a little bit worse than K. Dot did, but I don't want to speak on those things on this platform, so I advise you all to go check out Daylight as well, especially if you understand how amazing his bars were in the track from J. Cole's album called Pi. So, besides the shot at Drake for having a ghostwriter that is from K. Dot's team, K. Dot already left a breadcrumb in Euphoria letting everyone know that with the song back to back that Drake did, Kada was going to get back to that at a later time. This is the later time, and for those who don't know, Kadot knows that Daylight was the actual ghostwriter that wrote some of Drake's best work including his famous diss track towards Meek Mill, back to back. Kadot is putting on a lyrical masterpiece that he knows most fans won't fully follow, but Drake and his core fans are feeling the effects the most. When it comes to the section about the trifecta of money, morals, and culture being his leisure, he found a slick way to literally include those three concepts in his opening bars. The flex on buying a new super yacht is the proof of money. The wine cooler with a white t-shirt on shows that Kada has enough morals to still be humble and stay grounded, compared to others that always flex their latest designer clothes and alcohol. When he describes how he's just chilling and sightseeing, he's showing how much he's in tune with the culture. He says that while he's sightseeing, the wine cooler spilled on his t-shirt, due to being more focused on the side of the culture than he was focused on the drink. This will hit harder next time you hear it. Let's continue.